God of War Ragnarok won't get delayed again, suggests Insider. Reading from Game Rant, a simple question about whether or not God of War Ragnarok will get delayed again, this time in 2023, gets a response from a reliable Insider. God of War Ragnarok has a pretty interesting story so far, at least in terms of development. It was first teased in 2020, and halfway through 2021, God of War Ragnarok was confirmed for both PS4 and PS5. It was also delayed into 2022 at the same time. At this point, the actual title had not been spoken, and in fact had been said to be something other than God of War Ragnarok until its first gameplay trailer was shown near the end of 2021. However, since then, God of War Ragnarok has been quiet. It's not too uncommon for a game at this stage of its development life, but it's understandably enough to worry about its release. If it were to be one of Sony's summer games, then surely it would already be brought up officially. If it is a fall slash holiday game, it would still make sense that something would that something more was known. Of course, all of that all of that combined with the COVID-19 pandemic has some worried about its release. Thus far, no reliable insiders or leakers have suggested that God of War Ragnarok would be delayed again, this time in 2023. It's not some big idea circulating the internet, but more of an understandable worry among the fan base due to the ongoing status of the world. Thankfully, it seems they don't have to worry. While neither Sony nor Santa Monica have officially commit commented on this, well-known Bloomberg reporter and insider Jason Schreier recently responded to a fan's worried post on Reddit. The question posed as whether or not anyone thinks God of War Ragnarok will be pushed to 2023, and Schreier's response is simple and to the point, nope. These words may not come directly from Sony or Santa Monica, but they are about as trustworthy as they come from an insider source. With this in mind in the recent release of Horizon Forbidden West, it stands to release that fans will learn more about God of War Ragnarok relatively soon. It's not going to be tomorrow, of course, but it could very well be at the next Sony State of Play event. After all, most of 2022's video game calendar has yet to be set, with Nintendo recently revealing its games through the first half of 2022, but the latter half of the year being incredibly thin for all major companies. It stands to reason other companies will follow suit and reveal their lineups, especially as the E3 period approaches. So yeah, I mean, I know this news is like a couple days old, you know, but I still wanted to talk about it because, you know, a lot of people have been asking like, you know, back whenever we first got the first ever gameplay reveal and like a trailer for God of War Ragnarok, whenever it was over, it just showed a black screen and that was it you know, in that PlayStation showcase, we didn't even get a release year, you know, and ever since then, I thought it was pretty weird. I was like, why wouldn't they at least put like a 2022 year, you know, not necessarily like a date or like a day or a month, but just the year, you know, but they didn't. So I was like, okay, that's kind of weird, you know, and now here we are in coming up on March of 2022 and we still haven't got anything not even a leak or anything about the release date, you know, and I do believe that it will come out this year. You know, a lot of people were saying that like, what if like Sony surprise launches it on like, in like April or something, you know, and I'm like, man, if, if you really believe that Sony would do that for a game like God of War Ragnarok, you're insane. <laughs> I'm sorry. They have to have a few months to market the game. You know, so even if God of War Ragnarok got a release date this month, you know, then the earliest it would come out would be June, in my opinion, which would be a summer game, you know. And then I feel like if it doesn't release in June, that it'll probably be a September game, you know, just like that one leak. Apparently, like the data mine said that it has a release date of September 31st. Now, I don't think it would release on the last day of a month. That's kind of weird. But I could see it releasing in September. That's my prediction. If I had to bet money, I do think it will release in September of this year. You know, I would be shocked if it does get delayed. You know, because also we found out last year that if Christopher Judge, who was the voice of Kratos, you know, apparently he suffered like a really bad back injury back in 2019. And he said if it wasn't for that, then the game would have already released by now. So, I mean... Surely the game's really far in development, you know, I fully do expect maybe like the end of March or April, we'll, we will probably get like a big PlayStation showcase event or like a God of War Ragnarok dedicated state of play, you know, and we'll probably get a release date then, you know, but yeah, I mean, they have to have at least like three to four months to market the game before 
a game of this magnitude was going to come out because, you know, I'm sure you guys know this, like, in 2020, the lead up to the PS5, everyone was talking about how, like, you know, the next God of War game is going to be, like, the game that sells the PS5, you know? And obviously, it does suck that, like, we know that with Horizon, this game is going gonna, is gonna to be a PS4 game, you know? But, I mean, Horizon looks absolutely phenomenal so i mean i'm not worried about god of war ragnarok especially that being a more linear narrative driven game you know so yeah down below let me know how you feel about you know jason schreier saying that god of war ragnarok won't get delayed to 2023 you know obviously what jason schreier says isn't the gospel it's not 100 a fact because it's not santa monica it's not sony you know, it'd be more, it'd be more reassuring if they came out and said that, like, you know what, it's still coming out this year, it's not going to get delayed, you know, but if it's not them, you know, I mean, it coming from Jason Schreier is a really big deal, so yeah, do you feel like the game will get delayed to next year, or do you feel like the game will most likely release sometime in the second half of 2022? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, drop it a like and consider subscribing if you're new by turning on the post notification bell so you don't miss my next upload. Until next time, guys, take care.